Hi everyone, I am your teacher, Mr. Yeboa Ejabi Nimfa, a teacher at the University of Cape Coast Primary School. And I'm going to show you how to log in using the Schoology platform to do your exercise. Okay, so connect your phones to the internet as usual, tap on the Schoology app, and when it opens, this time around, we are not going to use sign up. We have already registered, so we don't need to use the sign up again. Then we are not going to use the login through your school. We will use login through www.schoology.com. Where you have see, you can see the continue button. It is in blue color. Tap on it. It will take you to the next page. Remember, we have email address and password. So the email address was sent to you when you were creating it. You had a password. So you remember, in my case, my email address was atos with four s at email dot com oh sorry let me just correct it so at email dot com when you finish typing check to see what you've typed in the correct thing you can see that my atos i type in three s instead of four okay so now i've added the other s okay so now let me type in my password okay so i'm typing in my password as i said i'll change the password right after the video okay so now we can see the login button so let's tap on the login so I've tapped on the login to see the system to load me onto the portal. Okay, so it is loading. As I said, the phone is connected to the internet at this stage and it will load. Bam! We are here to send activity. Cross dashboard. Okay, so we just tap. We remember the last time what we did was those three lines be behind the home, okay, beside the home. Those three lines, we tap on the three lines, then we can see courses, then we tap on courses, then we can see our class, we tap on our class, then the subjects will load. Okay, so we are going to take our English exercise. So what do I do? I will tap on the English folder. So let me do that. Okay, it has loaded. Bam! You can see exercise one. Fill in the blanks with ours, yours, or theirs. I remember the last exercise I did on using the Ed model because I didn't score the four marks. Some people were laughing at me. Okay, let's see here. Let's let's look at this exercise. Okay, now you tap on the exercise. Good. Tap on the exercise for the exercise to load. Okay, let's see my performance this time around. Please don't 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 laugh at me. Okay. Okay. So you can see start new attempt. It means that we're going to start our exercise. Good. Good. Let's tap on it. Good. 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 So I can have question one. It says two points. It means two marks. This, this shop belongs to Mr. and Mrs. Edu. The shop. You can see a blank one. And a line is blinking there. It's called an insertion point. So we tap in there and type the answer there. So once there are two, the shop is this. Mm. The shop is this. So, because it said the instruction says we are filling in with hours, this. Eh? Okay, so that's what we are doing. So, next, I'll tap on the next button and wait for the next page. Good. Now, the next page comes to get your keyboard, tap on the blank where they've written blank one. Okay, we study in, our, in this room. The room is hours. We study in this room. The room is hours. Okay, good. Let's tap on the next page after typing our answer good next page okay tap on the next page i've done that the next one we have caught this bed then the bed is ours so let me type in the answer the bed is ours good i tap on the next so remember what is happening is that whenever i tap on the next i may have to tap on it twice before it loads me to the next page okay so i have to tap on it twice before it loads me to the next page so i'll tap on where they have written blank one i'll tap there when the keyboard will come. They painted these pictures. The pictures are this. The pictures are this. Okay, I've tapped on the next. I've tapped on it again twice before it takes me to the next page. So that is what I did. Okay, so we have Dede and I sleep in this bed. The bed is ours. Okay, let me tap on the next. Tap on it again to go to the next question. 
You can see on top there question six of nine. It means I'm on question six. And the questions are nine. Sewa and Abba bought these dresses. The dresses are theirs. Are theirs. Okay, tap on it again. Then I have the next question. Seven out of nine. Mr. and Mrs. Yeboah bought a new car. The car is theirs. The car is theirs. Okay. So I've tapped on it again twice. Okay, the next question, eight out of nine. This one, we have possible answers. So this dog is not Dash. Your dog is black. So this dog is not yours. Let me tap on the answer. So this one, when I tap, it just, you can see a small dot selecting the answer that I want. Now I tap on next page. Okay, so the last question, now out of nine, that you can see we bought this parrot yesterday. The parrot is ours. So now that I am on the last question, you can now see the submit button has come. First, it was the next button that's changed to submit. We say that's the last question, so I'll tap on it. Then I can see, are you sure you want to submit the assessment? Okay, so let me tap on yes. And let's see what will happen. Okay. Bam! Bam! The assessment is done. So you can see the questions and then the correct answers that I selected are beside it. Good, good. So that's the review of the work. So you can see all the correct answers that you type in. Okay, so let me tap on test quiz. Let me tap on it and see. Okay. So I have this. Let me tap on comment and see. Good. There is nothing there. Comment means when the teacher sends you any comment, you see it there. They can see my submissions. It's what you have there. And my submission is where you have your assessment. So after the work, I tap on my submissions. On the top of my submissions, it will tell you your score. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have a uh, final score, 18 out of 18. Okay, so you can see 18 over view assessment. You can see 18 over 18. When you tap on view assessment, it will open back the questions to you for you to see what's happened. Okay, so you tap on take test or quiz, it will send you to the test of te text or quiz column. Then when you tap back on my submissions, it will summarize your answer for you. So what I'm saying is that when you are done with the work, right? This is how it will appear. It will appear this way for you. You will see the correct and then the wrong incorrect answers. Then when you want to see your score, just tap on test slash quiz. Good. Then come back and tap on my submissions. Okay, good. You will see a summary of what you did. Your final score will show. Okay, so this is how you're going to go about the work. Now, when you are done with the work, you can see exercise one. There is an arrow pointing backwards. Eh? You just tap on the arrow. It will send you to... Uh, for nana opokwajiman then what you're going to do is that when you have four nano opokwajiman you can see back to materials the name for nano opokwajiman online is there you can see user school is there under the user school you can see back to materials that's on top of exercise one tap on it on the small arrow it will send you back to where your note is in any case, whenever you are doing your work and you don't know what to do, where they have written four nano pukwajima with those lines beside it, just tap on those lines. You will see your class. Just tap back on your class. It will load the thing again for you. And you see the subjects. So from there, you open the next subject to see if your teacher has put in any work for you. When you are done doing all your work, you tap on the three lines again where they have written four nano pukwajima. In your case, your class. You tap on it. Then you can see courses still an arrow pointing backwards you tap on it then you can see your name home courses groups resources grades calendar setting and the last option there is log out so you tap on log out to do what to log out of the class it means you have come out of the class so that nobody can use your account for anything so this is how to take your work or do your exercise using schoology okay all right so we're putting more videos. I'll be putting more videos on my YouTube handle. You can go there to go and like the page. Then you can check the videos that will come up later. If there is any problem that you face, please type it and send it to your teacher. They will notify me and I will make sure that 
If I need a video to make sure you understand it, I will explain it better with, for you, for you to understand it. All right. Until then, we'll meet again. All right. Make sure you always take your exercises and connect your phones to the internet before you start any work that you want to do. Okay. Au revoir. See you once again. See you later. Bye-bye.